here. Come on. Come on, bud. Let's go. Let's go. You gotta come apologize to the YouTubies. <laughs> For ruining their intro. <laughs> Say sorry. <laughs> Say sorry. <laughs> Say sorry, bud. Say, I'm so sorry I started barking when you when you pushed to record. That was so rude of me. I should have been way more thoughtful. <laughs> um, also, uh, you know what, though? This is a good transition because I was going to tell the YouTubies that I, I think he's on the upswing. I think he's feeling better. We I did, in fact, take him to the vet yesterday during my normal stream time. Um, he's on some probiotics now. We're still feeding him a bland diet, but they did do some blood work, took a fecal sample, and there's nothing unusual in any of those things. So it's probably just a little GI irritation, and he is feeling better, I think. But look at him. Isn't he so cute? Isn't he so cute? And look at him just look at me. He gives, he gives so much, like, direct eye contact if he wants to. Here, let's go back on the chair, bud. Um, which kind of, like, makes me think of... Did y'all watch Love is Blind Season 4? The guy on there named Zach, no relation to me. He just happens to have the same name. He gives so much uncomfortable eye contact. <laughs> so, yes, when it came out. I'm sorry that I'm watching it 12 years later. Yeah, the lawyer guy. He's weird. <laughs> He is weird, and also so was Irina. Weird, 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 weird. Very weird. Anyways, besides the point, uh, hi, YouTubies. It's me, Michael Zachary, also. And I'm back today. Um, not to get into the weeds, but I remember people mentioning that he might be neurodivergent, so he might be overcompensating with the eye contact. I, I feel that. I feel that. I feel that. That's, I think that's a fair thing. And, and also his really direct eye contact wasn't hurting anybody. Um, you know, I think it would have been more well received by Bliss than it was Irina, but here we are. <laughs> here we are. And he did a lot of other weird things besides just the eye contact, but here we are. Um, YouTubies, it's me. Hi, how are you doing? Today we're watching Alabama Prepper. Um, our friend Alley Cat in the chat has been waiting very patiently for me to watch this requested video. Um, it's called Dressing with Turkey Deli Meat slash Great for Making a Head. All right. Um, <laughs> and so, yeah, Prepper. Yes, Alabama Prepper. Her name's Margaret. She, we typically are listening to her talk about being scared that Walmart is doesn't have enough employees, that they're closing down registers, um, that they, they, I don't know, the various things that Margaret's worried about. But apparently she does cooking videos too. This is one she posted about three months ago. It says, hashtag canning, hashtag homemade food, hashtag freezer meal. Um, so that's, <laughs> that's the context. Love, love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. She found this pot in the WW1 <laughs> bunker under her home. Yeah, well, let's let's talk about what's on the screen right now. Because, yeah, the pot looks like it's been fucking through it. But you know what? The thing about old cookware and stuff is, like, they used to really make that stuff so that it would last forever. But it really is looking, looking ancient. And then what is this? It feels like she's keeping bacon grease or something. And this little mason jar over here. And then this looks like maybe some cornbread she made, which I love cornbread. That shit is so good. During the pandemic, like when we were in lockdown, Noel went through this phase where he was making, uh, he was making cornbreads every week, once a week. And then he would make so much of it, he would like get the Uber connects to like send them to our friends ar across the city. But yeah, that's besides the point, too. So this is what we're watching today. It's an 11 minute long video. <laughs> 11 minute long video. Um, and if the chat is ready, let's just get to get to. Let me know. Put some 69s in the chat so I know. Beef Piss finally made it to a stream. Hi, thanks for your first time chat. We got Beef Piss, Beef Piss Flaps. 
Beef Piss Loaded Squirts. <laughs> Just all the names. Every name. All, all the inappropriate names. <laughs> Every single one of them. We're doing great. We're doing great. Bum. 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 I can't keep track of all the beef piss and poa poa names. I mean, honestly, at this point, so many of you are just beef and piss and flaps and poa poa to me. <laughs> I I honestly don't know who's who these days, to be honest with you. All right, let's just go ahead and get to, get. wait, let me make sure she's turned up. I think she's a little bit of a mumbler and a quiet talker. Um, <laughs> let's just get to, get to. Okay, I've got my big oh. brawler here. Oh, she's real quiet. Do I have everything turned up everywhere? Let me turn on the closed captions as well. And hopefully she's just so, so quiet. Let me... Let me try a couple things. All right, okay. All right. Me introducing myself to a woman as a rat hole flap. <laughs> oh my god. All right, let's let's see if this helps. Okay, I've got my big brawler here. Back last year, um, on some of my videos, I showed you how I put up chicken broth. Oh, I was like, what is this bag? <laughs> also, love love the auto-generated subtitles. I showed you how I put up chicken bra. <laughs> which, that, that was another thing. People in Chantal's chat were saying I had moobs, which I've literally had moobs my whole life. I don't know what to say. Um, but, maybe, but maybe what I need is a good chicken bra. <laughs> put it in the freezer so whenever I want it, all I have to do is take it out. Oh, I'm going to put this in this boiler. Okay. Uh, this boiler is what she's calling this? Alright. Oil, and I'm going to actually put... Oh my god. Oh! 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! Wait! Mima, be careful! Be careful! Oh my god! Wait, I was I was pausing because of the way she's opening it, but look at the pot on the stove. Wait, let me go back. To a bowl, and I'm gonna actually put. Oh, she's struggling. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not gonna turn it down. I'm gonna actually put two bags in. Ma'am, you should have, I feel like you should have let this thaw or something a little bit. What are we doing here? <laughs> what are, are we doing here? <laughs> there definitely has to be a better way. Uh, you know what? She hasn't prepped her vocabulary. Is something wrong with her vocab? She's out here with her chicken bra. Love, love, love my cream on wheat, wheat. I'm AK Shully kind of nervous. <laughs> I'm also AK Shalee kind of nervous, Maya. Thanks so much for the 100 bits. Uh, I, yeah, I don't understand why she doesn't just cut the bag open and put it in. Or, like, let it thaw or something a little bit. But I don't... It's just not mathing for me. Oh, oh my god, wait! Look at her take the knife to cut it further. Look. Oh my god. Like I wanted it to. So we're gonna go ahead and put this one in, I think. This is unhinged girl. <laughs> girl. Oh my god. Please be safe. What? <laughs> She's just leaving the pl that plastic is gonna burn to the side of that pot because clearly the, the pot is very hot. It's very hot, and that bag is about to melt to the side. Look at it. It's already getting smaller. That bag was so cool. Oh, my God. And this knife and this cutting. Girl, please be safe. Mima, somebody come help Mima. Somebody come help Mima.
The bag is still on. Okay, I heard one of my chickens calling. I had to go check on her. Um, <laughs> not the boiling chicken broth, but having to go check on, on your actual real alive chicken hollering. Also, I think she somehow got louder, which is a, a good thing, because I could barely hear her. <laughs> Finally, check on her. Love, love, love my cream all week, Finally. sweetie. There's no way this isn't her first time cooking. I see, it kind of seems like it, huh? It kind of seems like it. I'm gonna go ahead and put two of these in there. She is struggling the house down boots. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get these in there. Oh God, there's a second bag. A second bag has hit the poor cooking towers oh my god oh my god oh god oh we gotta stop i can't do this mima i can't do this get them to boil Oh, this is and nice. Go ahead and get my... She doesn't have a pair of scissors to cut this bag open with. Oh, cornbread all crumbled up. And I've got my onion sauteed and ready to go with oh. my dressing. Wait, she, wait. Okay, we're missing. I I was not paying attention. I just realized she's talking about important parts of this recipe, including the cornbread. There. And get them to boiling. And I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, cornbread all crumbled up. We're crumbling the and cornbread. And I've got my onion sauteed and ready to go with my dressing. We So we got, we're going to crumble some cornbread and we're going to saute some onions for some dressing. Is she talking about like, like dressing like at Thanksgiving dressing? Now, this will be, I've got the sandwich deli Jesus, meat be careful with that knife and what we're doing is we're making dressing we're going to put it in pans and then we're gonna roll up turkey meat stuffed in dressing so i want to get it all together and now i had a video of how to make the chicken broth had a video on how to make cornbread is, oh. that a, is that a dog slurping in the background? So, when I get ready to get it all ready, I'll bring you back. Okay, while our broth is getting hot. What is this? Is that the cornbread, onions, and then some boiled eggs? I've got my eggs all shelled, hauled, and I'm going to start cutting them up. I have put my sautéed onions here. Uh, I put, I use uh, Crayola. I know that's backwards. Crayola? <laughs> she uses Crayola seasoning? I didn't know crayons were out here making seasonings. <laughs> Crayola on mine. And uh, I got salt and I got pepper. And you can see I like my dressing just a little bit chunky. Who like, who's, where's Sweet Bee with the chunks? Sweet Bee hasn't been here in a second, but Sweet Bee's our girl that loves the chunks. She loves love, the chunks. Love, love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. MCA's cardiologist would never. Oh yeah, this is, this is my limit for eggs for the week. Thanks for the bits, Garrett. Yeah, I could only have four eggs per week. Full, four whole eggs. That's the thing though. After four, I can have egg whites as much as I, as much as I want. So we're gonna go ahead and get these eggs cut up. Okay, I'm confused. I like a lot of eggs in my dressing. Like what kind of dressing is this? It like, I don't think the the like dressing or like stovetop dressing, the stovetop stuffing, dressing and stuffing are the same thing, right? Right, like I don't think, I don't think that those, um, Love, usually love, have boiled love my eggs cream in them. Wheat, wheat. I don't believe in hard-boiled eggs. 
No one needs to boil eggs ever. Oh, I hate to tell you, Carly Wizard Lizard, but I do love a boiled egg. I love a boiled egg. How are you going to say nobody needs to boil eggs? How are you going to get deviled eggs? How are you going to have deviled eggs, bestie? I need you to calm down. Cutting on her hands, I can never... Well, the reason she can cut safely in her hands is because that knife is dull as fuck from cutting open those plastic Ziploc bags. Didn't y'all just see how much she struggled to use that knife to cut open a plastic bag? That's not gonna hurt her. It's not sharp at all. That knife is not sharp at all. At all. I know everybody else uses this. Oh, that oh, oh! Too. Wait, that was that was kind of crazy. Wait, that that part was kind of crazy. <laughs> Wait, watch it again. Watch it again. Watch it again. Ready? I know everybody else uses this, that, and the other to cut up eggs, but I have been cutting up eggs for. <laughs> 60-something years and... Love, love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. R-E-D-I-C-O-U-L-O-U-S. Ridiculous. <laughs> Thanks so much, Hot Cheeto, for the 100 bits. I just do them in my hand. They come out just right. <laughs> this is... That part is insane. That part is crazy. Crazy. Haven't cut my hand yet. <laughs> But I'm an old thing. Using, it's one thing to hold it. I, I have taken like a, I've, I've cut some things up in my hand like that before. Like, like this where I hold it with one and I like cut halfway down. N I've never used my hand as a literal cutting board. <laughs> I've never literally went like this. Never, not once in my life. Ogie, when it comes to cooking, because I do things a certain way, it's ways that I've done it all my life, and um, I just keep on doing it. Oh, all right. Listen, Mima, I won't. I'm sure there's some of y'all that are like me. I just want you to be. You've safe. been doing it one way, and you just. I just you want just you to keep on doing it. I just want you to be safe. I just want you to be safe. And I hope you washed your hands, but I mostly just want you to be safe. I'm going to put one more egg in here. This is like, oh my God, can, this is like, just because this recently came up, this is like Amber Lynn cutting open that avocado and, st and stabbing herself. Oh my gosh, this is this is wild. I sauteed my uh, onions and butter. Uh huh. Go back and, and cut them up just a little bit so they'll be a little bit smaller. Oh yeah, that's a very efficient way to cut up the onions that are in there. You're doing you're, you're doing so good. Now I'm gonna put in my chicken broth. I have chicken broth. I have all. Uh, chicken where is the where is the chicken broth going those that was two huge boxes or bags of chip fruits and chicken broth where are you putting that and i also have cream of chicken and i know that's probably going to be backwards not the but cream of soup. i'm going to go ahead and add one more can of cream of chicken to this because uh -huh. i like mine rich rich i like mine rich is that what makes it rich Okay, my broth is ready. Uh huh. So I've added, uh, I put my eggs in here. Oh, we're putting. So I'll take my onions, put them in there, put my uh, Crayola seasoning in. The Crayola seasoning is going to keep taking me out. I'm sorry, but <laughs> it's such a funny way to say Creole. Put salt. You okay? Oh, did you just hear that noise my dog made? Salt and pepper. Now you can add celery. If why are we making to. why are we making soup? Is this what dressing is? Why are we making soup right now? My why are we making the it's gonna be mushy? This is just gonna be mush. My family does not like celery. 
So there was no use in putting any type of celery, you know, and they just don't eat it. You could also put... Um, I'm, I, what are we doing here, Margaret? <laughs> are you there? God, it's me, Margaret. I need some help with this soup I'm making. Oh, a poultry seasoning in it. And I do put poultry seasoning in. Poultry? <laughs> Wait, she puts... See, listen, I know people pronounce things all kinds of different ways. And as long as people know what you're talking about, that's fine. I think she's trying to say poultry. I think. I think. Mine. But... I cannot she gonna, put my she, thing. She's going to double boil these boiled eggs. Them eggs, they were boiled once and they're about to be boiled a second time. They're on my poultry seasoning. So, my, all my cabinets need to be cleaned out. So, uh, maybe I can get to that and get it done before long. I'm probably going to end up using all that broth. I love... I love my dress and soupy. <laughs> love, love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. Hi, Stinkies. Hey, Amy MC. Thanks so much for four months of Prime. She, uh, she said, I think she said she loves her dressing soupy, but I kind of, I kind of thought she said seepy. Like, oh, I'm seepy. <laughs> oh, I'm baby. I'm seepy. I'm a seepy baby. <laughs> <laughs> But she loves it soupy. She loves it soupy. This visual is making me a little sick. <laughs> Why? It looks so appetizing. Oh, well, God, it looks so good. It looks so good. So. Okay. I'm going to give it a taste test and see what it tastes like. Let's go. Let's go, Mima. Yes, blow on that spoon. Blow on it. I'm very satisfied with it. I don't think I could have... What's up with your dressing? It's, tri it's dripping with envy. <laughs> Y'all are going to latch onto that case for Karen quote for a minute. <laughs> for a minute. I'm very satisfied with it. Okay, I don't good. think I could have got it done any better. According to how much salt you like, the Crayola seasoning will give it just a little wang. A little wang? Girl, what do you, Mima, what do you know about a little wang? <laughs> what do you know about a little wang? <laughs> I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> and, uh, it's really good. Mm -hmm. All right, I got three pans here laid out. Okay. And we're gonna love, put love, love my cream. Wheat, wheat. Lil Wong appreciation post. Poa Poa sixty nine. Thanks so much for two months of subscribing. Appreciate it. And in each one of these. Oh, we're gonna oh. fill up. I'm gonna put probably about two cups, maybe two and a half cups. To a I thought she was. I thought she was rolling it up in the the deli turkey. And is she baking this? Are we making some kind of bread? No, she love, likes. Love, she said she likes it creamy. soupy. This looks like applesauce. Well, that's concerning, loaded tea squirt, because there ain't a single apple in this recipe. Okay, now we got that. Just the, move. just the, like, look at just right here, like the bits of boiled egg, just chilling and vibing. <laughs> this out of the way for a minute okay what I'm gonna do now 
What are we gonna do, Mima? This is Italian oh, turkey bread. I got it in the deli. Uh -huh. It is not the thinnest, but it's not the thickest either. Mm, me. So what we're doing? Love, 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 love my cream all wheat, wheat. Me. Know who TF requested we watch this? Because this is gold. Uh, I believe it was Alley Cat. Alley Cat in the chat requested this. <laughs> Alley Cat did. Um, <laughs> thanks so much, Lil Birdie, for the 100 bits. Um, I don't know if Alley Cat is here right now because earlier in, in Discord, she was talking about how she had therapy during this appointment. Um, but yeah, it was her. <laughs> it was her. <laughs> but no, uh, not the thickest, not the thinnest is me. That's why I'm like, when, when Chantal calls me fat, it's like, well, I'm not the thickest, Chantal, but I'm also not the thinnest, so I guess you're not wrong. <laughs> I guess you're not love, wrong. Love, love, love <laughs> my cream all wheat, wheat. Ham flaps for the drippy dressing. No, that's not ham flaps. Those are turkey flaps, Garrett. Those are turkey flaps that she's... She's, I think, going to roll the 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 dressing in. Thanks for the bits. I want to keep watching because I love you, but this is so vile. It's making my belly ache. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Alley Cat needed therapy from watching this. Well, she watched it a while ago, but I guess so. Maybe that's why. Oh, wait. Did I push play? Okay, what am I going to do? I'm okay. going to take a little bit of dressing and put it in my turkey. Garrett! <laughs> and it may come out the sides. Mm, me. And I should have <laughs> laid that too. with the top. We're going to lay it right there on the top. What are we doing this for? I'm not sure. I think the pans I done the last time were a little bit bigger than these. Uh-huh. We're just going to take the turkey. I, uh, why? Yeah, why is she setting it on top of the soupy dressing? Why are we doing this? What is, what is the point? And we're going to lay it on top of the pans. Oh, what is this? What, what is old uh, Peepaw watching in the background on the TV? This is something... This is wild. This is so good. I put some in the freezer. Uh-huh. And uh, all you have to do is take them out and and bake them because they're not done. They have to be baked. <laughs> oh, and, so she uh, is going to bake them. So they're not going to be soupy? It's not going to be soupy at the end of it all. Oh, uh, And you can have them for a meal. This is enough for me and my husband to have two meals off of. Okay. So it's plenty for us. That's what works for I'm her. I'm gonna go ahead family. and get these done up, and then I'll bring a, this bring is, you back. This is dark sided. <laughs> this is this is really dark sided. I'm sorry to tell you, I just I don't know that I could. <laughs> I don't know that I could. And let you see what they look like. What? What is the garnish? What is this garnish on top? <laughs> what is the garnish on top of the rolled up turkey? <laughs> love, love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. Soupy meat rolls, unfortunately, don't work for me and my family. Oh, I don't think they work for me and my family either. <laughs> I don't think so. Mm -mm. This is not it. This is not for, This is not for... There are so many things that we watch these people eat that I'm like, or make, and I'm like, oh, I would eat that. I'm not sure I could do it for this. I'm not sure I could do it with this. Not at all. Not never. Mm-mm. Okay, we got four pans of dressing and turkey. Uh, I'm going to sit here and let them cool. And then I will 
put aluminum foil on them and I'll stick them in the freezer. Okay. I had bought one pound of the turkey breast and I had two pieces left. Oh my God. So, uh, I had one pan of uh, cornbread, four eggs, uh, one onion, sauteed in butter. This is too much. I had my, what a waste uh, of food. This isn't K, right? Reminds me of something. This is not K's cooking. This is Alabama Prepper, our favorite Mima. Brock, broth and everything already fixed up. So salt and pepper, put some Crayola seasoning on it, and it turned out delicious. It's a very easy meal to fit. How long do I bake it for? I need to know how long to bake it for, Bestie. Love, love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. Opening the flaps like that made me scream. Ooh, <laughs> Garrett, it's too much. Every single part of this is too much. So, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed to us, please subscribe to us. Hit the notification bell so you'll know every time we put it up a video. Thank if, you for all our subscribers and all our new subscribers and all the wonderful if, if I was somebody who subscribed to her prior to this and I saw her post this, it would really make me question my ability to trust her as a content creator and I would absolutely unsubscribe if, if, if I didn't already not subscribe to her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Comment and you have a blessed day. Where the fuck is Alley Cat for putting us through this? No, no plating, no plating allowed. I guess. What do What do people in the comments say? Good idea. Wait, let me make it a little bit bigger. Can you read that? Good idea for a fast meal when you're busy. I'm happy to see a new cooking video from you. I hope you're feeling better. Looks good, Margaret. Now I know you're fucking lying. Now you have some things in the freezer for after your surgery. Oh, she must have been having... Oh, she did... She did have... We know she had a surgery around this time, yeah? Absolutely looks delicious. Going to try this. Thanks for sharing and God bless you. Miss Margaret, you making that dressing making wish... You making that dressing making wish I had some. Southern comfort food. I live in Northwest Alabama. Margaret, I cut up my eggs the same way. I'm 65 years old, and I've always done it that way. It's faster, and you don't have something else to wash. Prayers for your surgery. Your food looks great. <laughs> I love how they just sandwiched prayers for your surgery in there between talking about the food. <laughs> love, love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. Calling that Southern comfort food will get you jumped in the South. <laughs> listen, listen, I'm not from the South, so I can't speak on it. Um, I can't speak on it at all. Uh, but I'll take your word for it. I'll take your word. Listen, it's only 530. Do, does she have another short video we can watch? Anything kind of crazy? Kind of crazy that we can... Ooh, not, not COVID hit our family raging in Alabama. Oh! <gasps> The real reason Walmart locked the nursery, the nursery department doors. <laughs> shorts. She has shorts. She has shorts. These don't look that, that interesting. These shorts don't look that interesting. I need to know the real reason. Um, I, I know somebody said I had to eat crow slash eat my words, but that appears to have a child in it. And I don't particularly love reacting to videos that have children in them. Uh, but would love to know the real reason the nursery department doors at the Walmart are locked. We got we to gotta, we gotta find out. We got to find out. It actually does it. I watched it. Love, the love, thumbnail love, does. Love, prima, we, we. What Walmart doesn't want you to know. Ten things Walmart wants to keep a secret from you. Top ten anime betrayals. Major consequences things for the 100 biddies. <laughs> the kid is in the thumbnail only. That is wild. We could, we could do it. It's 
from people who have watched then, is the Eat Crow or the the nursery department doors better? <laughs> Good Sunday slash you date you date on husband and myself. <laughs> Go for the Walmart nursery doors. Okay, great. It seems it seems pretty consistent. It seems pretty consistent. All right. <laughs> miracles. Wait, where where is the miracles one? God is still working. M I R I C L E S slash. It could have been bad. <laughs> Not this, not this. Hi, Jude. You coming in? You know you're not going to be able to get out. The door's going to shut behind you. All right, let's watch, um, let's watch the real reason Walmart locked the nursery doors. Good Sunday morning to everybody. This Hi. is Margaret with Alabama Prepper. Hope everybody's doing okay. I'm doing all right. Thank you for all my subscribers and all. Uh, Did all she my get a haircut? Look at this little, this little, uh, <laughs> this little. <laughs> I'm trying not to use the c word. <laughs> this little, uh, c u n t y, uh, pixie cut. <laughs> Appreciate it. Sir. Wait. Also, I'm kind of hot. Can I take off the? Can I take off the hoodie? I'm kind of getting warm. I'm kind of getting warm. <laughs> struggle bus struggle bus taking off the hoodie to reveal the shirt I was wearing in my video yesterday <laughs> when the people start uh, speculating on whether or not I shower <laughs> how are we doing how are we looking To be clear, I didn't shower today. <laughs> Just so we're on the same page, no showers were taken today. <laughs> Just so, just so we all are agreed. Okay, back, back to me, Ma. So imagine all the wonderful comments. Um, it's been a busy week for us. If you. Watch my video from yesterday. Uh, my husband had a heart cap. Uh, he almost had a heart attack. He was, oh, he no. was really sick. Uh, he's, you know, back and forth to hospitals. And I didn't know it was going to be this serious. I thought we were just here to talk about Walmart. See, that's the, the thing with some of these titles <laughs> that these girlies use. I'm like, oh, I'm I'm ready. I'm ready to hear about the the nursery department at the Walmart. And she's like, well, my husband almost had a heart attack. Which like prayers to him. Prayers in the chat for for Peepaw. Staying up late at night, we were all you know give out. But love, thanks to love, love my cream all week. We all week. Stand with Am I late? Well, we did start stream uh one hour and thirty seven minutes ago, but. If you're here, you're on time, you know? Good. They got to stand in and, you know, caught it before he did have a heart attack. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. But anyhow, just wanted to uh, share something with you. But anyhow, and I have he he did almost have a heart attack. But anyhow, moving on. Love, time to love, talk about love, Walmart. Cream, we, we. The Zach 11 praying pray for peepaw peepaw prayers up the Zach 11 praying. Prayers up. Prayers up, my prayer warriors read a lot about it from other places other countries other towns other across, countries you know, across the world but i had been are, hearing are walmarts across the world shutting down their nursery departments <laughs> are walmarts across the globe sh shutting down there some walmarts were closing that uh the Theft had gotten so bad Not in the, the stores till they were having to close their stores because people were stealing so much. I don't understand that. I mean, they used to have door graders. If people are stealing, they really need to have 
more security in the store. <laughs> is she acted like theft is a new new concept, a new idea? Is, is she talking about stealing being a, some kind of like people haven't been stealing from places like Walmart for a minute? Is that what she thinks is happening? Like, that's the sudden problem out of nowhere? But I have been noticing that um, our Walmart had locked the doors in the nursery center. Uh, yeah, you well, mentioned that once. I was going through the nursery center to check out my groceries because they don't have enough of lines open at Walmart and the ones they do have open are the most slowest people in Walmart. Love, love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. Paying for things at Walmart is a suggestion, <laughs> not a requirement smile. Listen, I can't endorse, um, I can't endorse stealing in my stream, but thank you for the bits. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, not her, not her saying, there's not there's not enough lanes open to check out and the ones that they do have open they got their slowest employees working they said we're gonna put our worst employees here whether that the elderly people are just slow people they put them in the cashier lines for always people in walmart whether that the elderly people are just slow people they put them in the cashier line <laughs> not her dragging the elderly girl that that is your community you gotta stand by your community bestie i was not expecting the ageism to jump out today you gotta look out for your fellow me mom peepa please margaret please so you have to wait so long, and if you go, you know, a lot of older people will not go through that self-checkout. I hate it, you know, and I I'm not it. going through it if I have a lot of groceries anymore. I'm just, you know, I may go through it for three or four or five things, but I'm not going through it for... Well, my total groceries. I think I think generally that's the, the what's intended. You know how they used to have the lanes that were like fifteen items or less. That's the idea. You're not going through when you have a hundred items to pay for. You're going when you got a small a small amount of groceries. <laughs> you hate self checkout and complain they were open. That's that's our girl Mima. Mima's over here finding anything about the Walmart to complain about. It really is. But anyhow, I have been going through our, um, going through our nursery she at said, Walmart. To she said, I, this is the other thing. If you didn't watch the other video or any of the other videos we watched where she complained about the Walmart, the other thing you have to know is that before she'll go to a self-checkout, she'll go to the pharmacy to check out. She'll take her full cart of groceries to the pharmacy to check out. And the reason we even know that she is upset about the nursery being closed is because she will take her full cart of groceries to the to the nursery department and have them check her out there. Our um going through our nursery at Walmart to check out. Crazy. They didn't have very many back there, but I think everybody had figured out to go through the nursery and they could get checked out quicker. Uh, no, not everybody, not everybody figured that out. You're just annoying and did that. People don't do that. But they closed the doors. They locked the nursery doors. You can't go in and you can't go out. They don't have a cashier back there anymore uh, to shut, to, to because check Because of annoying out. people like you. Our nursery at, at all. Our nursery checkout or our nursery doors at our Walmart is completely shut down. Shay, that is that is such a good point. <laughs> that is such a good point. Uh, in the chat, Shay206 said, Gotta be honest, if my husband just had a medical emergency, I think this would be the last of my fucking worries. That is such a good point. You literally started this video off by saying my my husband almost had a heart attack, had to have a stent put in his heart. But you know what I'm here to do today? 
complain about the nursery at the Walmart. Now, you can go back there and buy things. You can buy what flowers they have or, you know, anything like that. But you have to take it out through the front. Now, you cannot take it out through the back because they've locked the doors and you can't, you know, you can't go in and out. Uh-huh. But, you know, that is really sad when a country, when people have gotten so bad Till they just go and steal just for the fun of it. Now, now Miss Ma'am, how do you know what the intentions of people are? How do you know what the... You, you, I know she's fucking, fucking lost the plot now. I know, she, I know she's lost the plot. What do you mean people are just going and stealing for the fun of it? Who is stealing just for the fun of it? Who? <laughs> Who? I can't. I can't. I would guess that if people are, are stealing, it's because they need whatever it is they're stealing. That That is honestly my whole philosophy behind that. Like, people would not be stealing if they didn't really need it for some kind of reason. Well, me in high school, maybe, maybe maybe teenagers are stealing just for the fun of it. I think most adult humans are are trying to like if they're stealing, it's because they they need to do it. You know, like they need the things. <laughs> yes, people are stealing. A, I don't now. I can't tell if y'all are being serious or not. In the, yeah. So many people are like, I used to shoplift for fun. <laughs> uh, okay, may maybe that's what's happening. Maybe Gen Z is out here and they're just stealing for fun and merry bit. <laughs> I'm just like, if you need groceries and you gotta steal it, I'm not gonna say anything. That's that's my thought, is like if people are to a point where they're like, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to risk like the, the, the punishment for stealing in America so that I can feed myself, then what are love, you going to do? Love, love, love my cream. I've oh, never wait, been wait. in that situation where I've seen I only steal stealing. hearts less than three. Hot Cheeto Dorling. <laughs> Thanks so much for the 100 bits. I was told by a professor that the majority of people who steal are middle-aged white women who feel unhappy with their lives. So they steal, they steal for a thrill. Listen, maybe Mima knows more than I do. <laughs> maybe Mima knows more than me. <laughs> to be honest, I bet her Walmart nursery doors will open in the spring or summer. That's what I would guess. Like, I'm guessing that's a, a more low traffic area during the winter months and so they they do for security purposes probably like lock up those entrances and and put their energy in other parts of the store i used to work at walmart and i wouldn't say if anything if they were stealing food or baby supplies if it was someone stealing cosmetics sometimes i would but honestly even then i was like who's gonna miss that nail polish anyways it's a known thing in my generation that people borrow from Walmart all the time because they're a multi-billion dollar company. Don't send this chat to the feds. Y'all better be locking up your, your social media so FBI Frank doesn't come in. <clears throat> Alright, sorry. Let's uh let's just get back to <laughs> let's get back to the to the video. Go oh, in, I mean, like they think it belongs to them. It is, it is a sad, sad country. But anyhow, I, um... Uh, also, let's I also, went, let's also note that she's basing her opinions on the state of the entire country based off of just her little old Walmart in Alabama that she goes to. And through the checkout the other day. And the man that was, that was doing... Oh, uh, the the checkout. I think I got my cart ahead of my horses. But anyhow, the guy that was checking out that day, um, in the in the lane, I asked him. I said, 
why did they lock the nursery? Why did they shut everything down back there? Na Nancy Drew, <laughs> Mima, is is here to crack the code. She's gonna find the reasons. <laughs> She's like Lady Gaga on January sixth, doing her own investigation and looking for evidence. And he told me he said it was because people were stealing so bad that they was taking stuff out those doors. Uh -huh. They was you know, and I'm thinking, uh, you know, is that really true? I mean, that's a great question. Why, to ask. If people were stealing so bad, why why didn't they have a security guard there? Why didn't they have somebody there that could check on? Girl, girl, I think you know the answer to that question yourself. They closed the doors so nobody could leave out of that exit. They locked them up. You don't need security there. You don't have to pay somebody to be security there if you just lock the doors, bestie. You know, before they went outside, if they were stealing so bad. But it was another thing also that could be. Now, that's what he told me that people were stealing so bad. It's possible that that could be. It's possible. But well, my... he's... Wait, now, so we don't believe the employee from the store? Because you were just going with this theory two seconds ago. You were just blaming all the people that like to steal for fun. But now all of a sudden, and that it's just a possibility that it could be that. She's got, she's got a different theory. <laughs> she's got a different theory. I'm so confused why you defended that theory down so hard just moments ago when you were saying people were just stealing for fun. Uh opinion of it all is so many people had started going through the nursery checkout to get checked out to get through quicker and I believe they closed it to keep people from checking out what? they took him and put him on a cash register in the store why would they not want people to check out of their store why would they want people to not go through and buy items in their store? How does that make sense, Mima? Quickly! Walmart is so demanding of you checking out those through those self-checkouts. That's what they want you to do. And I think so many people had went through this on... Uh, line checking out till long uh, i think that's why they closed it down i might what what i mean of course they want people to use the self-checkouts they wouldn't have them there if they didn't but what why would they not want people to check out of the store it doesn't make any sense to me didn't she go through the pharmacy last video to get through faster yeah yes correct she did yes might be wrong. It may be because of the stealing, but I believe it's because they don't didn't want people going back there checking out anymore. Well, they also, want you to use those. I I feel like that could be the case too because they didn't they didn't put a cashier back there with the intentions of you bringing all of your groceries back there to check out, bestie. I will tell you that. I will tell you that that was not the intended use of that. They put a cashier back there because there's probably people who are buying just landscaping stuff. And it would be really annoying for them to take their like big bags of soil or their big plants that they're buying and have to take them up to the, the front and the cash register up there. So they put a cashier back there so the people that only want to get their landscaping supplies can just buy it all there and then go out. <laughs> they they surely probably didn't intend for you to use them back there like that. She's so silly. <laughs> they should really make her mad and put a self checkout in the nursery. That would be funny. Self checkout all machines. I buy the if I buy my groceries there. I'm not going to check out my own stuff. They get paid to do that. You know, they they get paid to wait on the customer. 
So I am not going to check out. I may stand in line 30 minutes, but I'm not going to check out a large amount of groceries. And I, I'm good. They get paid to do that. They get paid to deal with my annoying ass. So I'm going to make them deal with my annoying ass. She is so fucking entitled. She is so entitled. The entitlement. She's like complaining about how long it takes, but also complaining about not wanting to do the one thing that could maybe make her trip faster. <laughs> she really thinks she's sticking it to Walmart with that. Yeah. Well, then the thing is, is she's like, she's sitting here complaining about how they get paid to, to serve her, or paid to to check out her items, but she probably also isn't here supporting the concept that they get paid a decent wage, you know? <clears throat> Walmart through a self-checkout. It just ain't gonna happen. It just ain't gonna happen. But my question would be, and you give me your comments, did they close our Walmart nursery because of theft? Or they did they close it because they didn't want people. Can you imagine? Checking out in the nursery department. So, anyhow, I, leave, I, I hope want everybody is so prepared bad. for this cold weather that's coming up this week. We are going to have some extremely cold weather. Love, love, love I've my cream of wheat, wheat. Go to Piggly Wiggly Lady. Uh... Van Van Von Zander, thanks so much for 100 bits. And Alley Cat, thanks so much for subscribing for five months. Appreciate love, love, it. Love, love, love my cream. All we, we. Heart, heart, heart. Thanks, Zach, for reacting to good OL Memma again. You, you are, you are more than welcome. Wood in. Got my grandson to chop my lighter for me today. My husband's still in the hospital. My husband's still in the hospital, love, and you know, love, love my you know what I decided feet. I needed to do? I love her little cheeks and just want to pinch him. <laughs> Tregelia, thanks for the bits. You know what? You know what? My husband's still in the, the hospital, and you know what I thought was most important to do? Come here and complain about the Walmart nursery checkouts. He should come home tomorrow unless... If you didn't, if you didn't watch my other video, um... I just give you a little update. My husband came home real sick Thursday, having severe chest pains, or he thought it was uh, indigestion. And uh, indigestion? Did she mean indigestion? Indigestion. <laughs> Bessie, I don't know what indigestion is. Oh, he was in severe pain. I'm glad he's okay to though. The for real, for real. Room. Everything looked okay. She did also already work. tell us this. Uh, and Zion's and his blood work was getting higher. They transferred him by ambulance to uh, Baptist Hospital in Pensacola. Pensacola, they done Florida? They a stress test yesterday, and they found out he did have a blockage. But at that time, they weren't sure that they were going to be able to put a stent in it. She literally already, Mima, you already told us this. You already told us this. Um, you know, that that was their thoughts when they went in. But thank the good Lord, they did get a stand in it. Prayers for it's people. It's the LED artery. It was 99% blocked. Oh, my God, the that's a lot. The doctor said they didn't know how. He, he didn't come in with an acute heart attack. He should have been dead. He should have done had a heart attack. But God was watching over him and, you know, let him get to the hospital He's supposed to come home in the morning, but he is having some type of severe stomach problem. So, um, I don't know if they'll send him on to another doctor or if they'll have another doctor come to see him, but... This is all just so casual. It really is. Listen, my, um, I think I've told you all before, but my dad, like, did also almost have a heart attack and then ended up, um, having, uh triple bypass surgery and lots of complications and stuff like that. At that time, when my dad was in the hospital, you know where my ass was? In the hospital too. Like, I didn't, I can't imagine just so casually being like, well, I gotta go home and film a video about, uh, about, about Walmart and the self-checkouts and the nursery. I just can't imagine. I mean, I'm, 
I think based on the titles of her other videos, it sounded like, because we just saw that one about miracles or whatever. I think, I think it sounds like he's probably okay, but that's, that's wild to me. It's just like, not how I would respond, I guess. I, she's welcome to, um, react in whatever way she wants, I guess. It's her husband. Y'all are gonna look so foolish when news breaks that Walmart is closing nurseries to drive up self-checkout usage and get rid of live personnel. <laughs> I am gonna look so foolish. You are so right. I haven't been to a Walmart in a minute, so maybe I'm part of the problem. Poor Walmart. He is having some, some really bad um, stomach problems. So, if you pray, if you're praying in person, please pray for him Prayers that for they people. can figure out what's going on with him. Two of us being sick at one time is just too much. But we'll take whatever God you know, gives us. You know what is concerning, though? She did have another video, if I remember correctly, about COVID in the family. COVID has hit our family. Oh, my God. That's probably not good for him. But anyhow, thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you for all our subscribers, for all the wonderful comments. And you do, you stay warm, but have a blessed day. Thank you. Love thank, you all. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Wait, wait. These comments. Bottom line is that America has lost the fear of the Lord. The Ten Commandments no longer mean anything in America. The country that I love is in very serious trouble. Oh my God. <laughs> Having worked for Walmart for close to 10 years, I can answer your question about why the garden center is locked. It is about theft. You would be amazed about how much money Walmart loses to theft. A lot of stores in excess of a million dollars annually. Also for years, Walmart has had a hiring problem. People don't want to work. <laughs> I'm so tired of hearing that because people want to work, but people want to work for a living wage. People want to work for like, they don't want to work for a corporation that doesn't give a shit about them and doesn't pay them enough to deal with the nonsense like you coming in and complaining. One of her son's house had COVID, didn't go to Mima or Peapaw at the time of that video. Okay, good. As a policy, the garden center has to stay locked unless a cashier is inside to monitor it. If it is closed after 8 a.m., it's because they, there isn't a cashier available to monitor. Okay, I really, I can't do too much of reading in that, that comment section. <laughs> I can't do too much in there. Um, YouTubies, you, by the time this is posted... You got no more times to catch me live this week. Uh, but I, I love you all so much, YouTubies. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Um, and make sure to subscribe. Bye, YouTubies! Okay, hopefully this doesn't crash the stream when I stop recording. We'll see.